ready to employ a different restraint, but then the other officers have all chose not to use it. Um, do, do the different accounts of Hey, honey faces. If you're new to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a recipe for you. Oh my gosh, y'all. Guess what we having? It's something tasty, delicious. You can't have one without the other. And it's going to be a bomb. I want y'all to try this recipe. Um, we're having corned beef and cabbage with white potatoes. And this recipe, you guys, has been around for a long time. I'm just going to show you my version of how I prepare it. And the kids and family love it. So this is my corned beef head from the market. It's already been cleaned, washed, and everything. Um, I have four cloves of chopped garlic that I'm going to infuse in this corned beef. And I also have a half a, um, half a sliced onion over here with my seasonings. Um, what I do first is I'm going to take my knife. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put slits in it. And I'm gonna add the garlic in there. Because this garlic makes the flavor. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so bomb. I've been doing this recipe for many years. And I said, let me share with my honey faces how to have some good old corned beef. Who doesn't love a corned beef sandwich, right? And being as though I, um, you know, I'm at work, I can have sandwiches. Hopefully, if it's any, if it's any left over, because corned beef does not stay in the house. And I'm just gonna do this all throughout the meat. Okay, so that was my, and I have my little soft check it. How can we forget about that? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up my sauce pack with my scissors. Hope everyone's having a good day today. My day was good. It's nice and hot here in Baltimore. I actually recorded a video um, earlier that I was going to post for you guys. It was a car mukbang. But I was like, you know what? I have this corned beef down. I was like, why not just go ahead and show them this awesome recipe. I'm going to put this all over. And I'm going to use a tad, just a sprinkle of seasoned salt. Don't need a lot. I'm gonna use some MSG. I know it says Larry's, but it's not Larry's. It's accident here, you guys. I know. I don't want to oversalt no corned beef. I'm gonna use some onion powder. I know. I can hear people now. You come home from work and then you're gonna fix a corned beef. Yeah, the family and the kids still got to eat, guys. And I have some cumin. Oh, that was pepper. And I have some cumin here. Cumin brings out the taste in corned beef. And I also have some bay leaves that I'm going to put in the water. I'm going to put my corned beef in my pot like this. Y'all see? And then I'm going to fill it with water. And then um, uh, until the corned beef is covered, I'm going to add my extra garlic and my onions to this. So I just filled it up. I added three bay leaves. Now I'm going to add my onion all over. And my garlic and onions garlic and onions and i'm gonna just let this i'm gonna cover it on medium heat and i'm gonna let this cook down for about maybe three hours or until it gets fork tender so i'm gonna put a lid on this semi closed not completely closed but just like let me show you 
so many places. Um, we have one large head of cabbage right here. I already peeled off the excess leaves. Not gonna throw those away. Um, my youngest daughter has two guinea pigs, so they will chump on those later. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this chopped and rinsed in my sink, and I'll be right back. And I already took the half of the cork out that we don't need. And I just cut my cabbage just like this. And I have my cabbage here in the strainer because once we finish cutting up this guy, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good wash. So let's come over and give our cabbage a good wash, you guys. I usually wash my cabbage three to four times just to make sure that it's clean. Oh my gosh, you guys, even though I just put on the, uh, the corned beef, it smells so good in here. Like an Italian deli shop. Yum. That corned beef, that swish, get a little ham in there. We have a, a deli shop here named Atman's. Oh my God, it is so amazing. I can't wait to make my sandwich. <laughs> Cannot wait. So I'm gonna continue to get us the rent. Don't wanna bore you guys, so I'll be back soon. Look at that. That thing is gonna be tender. So, honey faces, we have our cabbage straw rinsed and clean. I have a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan because I'm going to steam the cabbage. You don't need a lot because actually cabbage uh, makes its own water from the condensation once you cook it. So, I'm just going to put my pan on medium heat. I'm going to grab my cabbage. Yum, look at the cabbage. <laughs> that was so silly. All right, so um, once my pan warms, I'm gonna add my cabbage. Um, I usually add some type of smoked turkey or some type of um, neck bone to my cabbage or greens when I'm cooking them. But um, we have the corned beef, so we're gonna incorporate the corn, the cabbage with the corned beef once the corned beef get nice and tender. So we don't need the smoked turkey, you feel me? You feel me? So, and once I get all my cabbage in, I'm going to cover it so it can steam down. All right. So, yeah. Just going to add the cabbage in here. Cabbage is nice and beautiful and green color and fresh. Love, love, love cabbage. I done dropped all my cabbage on the floor, y'all. Jeez Louise. It's all good. Oh, this, this is a large head of cabbage. So, the little bit that dropped will not go unnoticed. And I'm gonna place the top on this so it can steam down. I'm gonna start peeling my potatoes. Not gonna put the potatoes in right away because um, we don't want the potatoes to get too mushy for them cooking so long. So we put them. So we're gonna put them in close to when they're almost done. And 
And this is what we're going to do till the scene's done. All right, y'all. So while we're waiting on dinner to get done, I want to give a mad, mad, mad shout out to uh, Eat With Saw and Sammy. Oh, my God. I, me and Let's Eat, Let's. All things G. Um, we created a shadow with the five lots of tears or five any type of seafood. Have to eat it in 10 minutes with this two times spicy sauce. Oh, let's give a shout out to Saw and Sammy. Saw killed it. She danced around that challenge. She made me and uh, all things G just like. She literally. That two times spicy is hot and she eats it like it's barbecue sauce. Yeah. Pretty much. So, honey faces, I want you to go and check their channels out. Go over there and show them some love. Uh, so, let us, uh, I think it's Eat With Saw and Sammy. And go on over there and see my homegirl, All Things G. Y'all show them some love. We really, really appreciate that. It smells so good. As Marianne would say, so good in here. <laughs> so good in here, y'all. Cabbage. That's the one. And uh, cabbage is steaming right now. Once it steams down, I'm going to start to season it. I already got my potatoes cut up. So as you can see, our cabbage is starting to get soft. Gonna start adding some seasonings to it, y'all. Gotta have this. <laughs> what y'all know about that, though? What y'all know about that, though? What y'all know about that, though? <sighs> All right, so gonna do some season salt. Gonna do, and you can use. Um, any uh, season to your liking, but this is what I like in my family accent. Gonna use some onion powder. Pepper. We like lots of pepper. And we're gonna use this um, Tony's Creole seasoning. Great right on everything. And it really is, y'all. And we're gonna give this a quick, a quick mix. And it still has a ways to go before actually getting done. I like my cabbage crunchy. But not, like, not done. I don't like cabbages, like, melting your mouth. Like it disintegrates. I don't like that type. I don't like that. To me, that's overcooked. But, you know, everybody's different. Gonna let this cook down a little bit more. Cover. Then I'm gonna add the potatoes in. So as you can see, our cabbage has cooked down really well. I'm gonna add the potatoes. And once we add our potatoes, we're going to uh, cover back up with the lid completely shut. And this is uh, five potatoes. Looks like a lot, right? But it's only five. All right.
so many faces. Look at that. Look at that. Our potatoes is midway almost done. I'm going to give it a little taste to see if we need any more seasoning. Mmm. I'm going to rinse my fork off. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just add a pinch of uh, sugar. Just a pinch, you guys. Had to grab a sugar bowl off the pantry. Just a pinch. And I add a pinch of uh, sugar because when we add this with the corned beef, you know, the saltiness from the corned beef and the uh, sweetness of this cabbage, it's just going to balance each other out. And I'm going to add some more pepper. this. I'm going to cover this for another maybe five minutes until our potatoes get completely cooked. I'm going to cut it down to low heat. We're going to check on our uh, corned beef, see how she's doing. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, got a while to go. I know y'all want to see. See? Can't get the fork all the way through. So we're going to let this continue to cook. And this is our cabbage. All done. Looks so yummy. And we're just going to cover this with some aluminum foil. Until our corned beef is ready. Honey faces. So it's been about two and a half hours. Um, and this is what we got so thus far. Look at that. It's not, but you can see it's coming along. It's coming along. Look at that. Look at that. Close up. Let's get that fork set to y'all. Mmm. This is going to be delicious. Our dinner is better than better than everybody else's. Sorry. So it has about another hour to go, and then maybe time to eat dinner. Can't wait. Our honey faces. So our corned beef is done. I'm just gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna let this rest for about 15, 20 minutes. Tip factor, whenever you cook any meat, um, you don't want to cut it as soon as it comes out of the oven, whether it's fried, baked, uh, stir fried, anything. You have to let your meat rest because what happens is it shocks it. And then um, when all your juices, once you cut it, all your juices would run out of the meat and your meat becomes dry. So let your meat rest. Okay, honey faces. So our corned beef brisket is finally uh, it's finally cool. So now we're gonna cut into it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Wow, we. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's juicy. It's tender. Yeah, I can tell you right now. None of this is going to be left over. Look at that. Yum. 
So you guys, I'm gonna finish slicing my corned beef. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please try it. Comment down below how much you love corned beef. If you're gonna try this recipe, what recipe do you want me to try next? Share this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. Most importantly, put your notification bells on. So, when I upload my next video, you will be informed. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Y'all have a nice evening. Stay blessed and less stressed. And we about to corn beef it out. Look at that. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Thanks for watching.